Hey Capricorn, I hope you're well. In today's reading will be looking at whoever you're thinking about for the rest of the year. Okay, so this person, for one, finds you physically very much their type, their ideal. They think you're amazing, you're gorgeous, someone who gets a lot of attention. This person does see your value here, but I'm, I'm seeing them more focused on your outer appearance here. Um, especially if this is someone new you're getting to know, they're intrigued. But if it's a past person, um, they just have love for you and they think you're amazing. <laughs> you have everything um, that one needs, or that they would want in a partner is what I'm getting. There is a little bit of insecurities with this person. Um, they feel less than, they feel like you're better than them with the Seven of Wands, almost putting you on a pedestal. I mean, that's not your issue, it's theirs, but I definitely see insecurities. I'm also seeing a lot of self-sabotage here. This person, the way they're acting, it's almost as if they're sabotaging this connection, right? They're letting their insecurities, jealousy get in the way. They're very jealous as a person. You know, they're, they need to get their stuff together or they will lose you because you're the queen of swords and the empress and they're aware of this. But they feel they have to compete for you. They ha they'll have to compete for your attention. That is sort of where they're at. How they're viewing you, high priestess in reverse, fool in reverse. You're keeping this person at an arm's length. You don't trust them um, for whatever reason. It can be because of past experiences uh, with someone else or a past with this person, right? So you're sort of keeping to yourself. And you're coming to us quite logical here. You're relying on your mind here. Um, is how they're seeing you, but also someone who's extremely intelligent. Why is this person viewing Capricorn as the high priestess in reverse? Why is the person on Capricorn's mind viewing them as high priestess in reverse? Two of Wands. Some of you are at a distance, but I'm seeing emotionally distant here as well. You may have a decision to make when it comes to this person. You know, whether you want to continue or whether you want to uh, move forward without them. But there is a lot of secrets and they feel that you're emotionally distant. Uh, Six of Swords and some of you, it's literal distance. King of Wands, Six of Swords. How they're feeling about you. We have Judgment, Tower in Reverse, Scorpio back to back. That jealousy, I'm definitely seeing possessiveness. But this person has issues. Um, if they're a past person, they're saying no second chances and they're avoiding you with tower in reverse, but they still stalk you. That is their energy. Clarify judgment in reverse for how this person will be feeling about Capricorn. Three of cups. And it can be the reason they're not coming towards you is because of a third energy um, that is coming through. Queen of Wands. Ooh, okay. Who is this person? Okay. I'm seeing they can be. There can be another energy. If you, you would be aware of this, if that is the case, Capricorn. Um, it can be a Queen of Wands, uh, which is why they are avoiding you. They're getting to know this energy. But a lot of you, I'm getting this is you. You're this person's first choice. You're the empress. If this person put you in a third party, that is what I'm getting if it's resonating. Because we have a match here, emperor and empress. And that was their stance when it came to you. But if you are not taking that leap towards them, they'll have no choice but to keep their options open, right? Why is tower in reverse? And those of you not in a third party, you're not resonating with that storyline. Um, this is someone who's very attracted to you. They're wanting to date you, get to know you better. Why is Tower in reverse here? But there may be something about timing here. Why is Tower in reverse here for how this person will be feeling? Can be two of pentacles, three of pentacles. Someone's juggling work, their love life. 
they're very busy so they may be very inconsistent with their communication i'm definitely getting someone who's has business on their mind here some of you are dealing with an aquarius who's having a hard time letting go there's unfinished business but we also have a king of pentacles in reverse can be someone who was very selfish an issue i have with this person is their intentions and actions we have seven of swords upright page of swords in reverse magician they're doing something sneaky um i'm not sure this, this is a stalker someone who it's shady is what i'm saying they're very manipulative they play mind games they're trying to gather some sort of information about you and they're doing this in not the most honest manner i don't know what they're doing but they're definitely stalking you some of you this person is manipulative in that they'll communicate they'll pull back um they'll communicate you know it's on again off again um leading to you feeling confused seven of cups but this person's very clever and they're not using that in the most, um, they're not using their, it's almost misusing their intelligence, clever, and cleverness, if that makes sense. Um, for how they're acting towards you, three of wands, nine of pentacles, they're at a distance for a lot of you, but how they're acting is single, independent, distant. That is how they're acting. How you'll be feeling, eight of pentacles, seven of cups, I think a lot of you will um, were willing to give this a chance or put in work. Um, you see potential, but this combination is sort of testing the waters, right? Why is Eight of Pentacles here for how Capricorn will be feeling? Clarify Eight of Pentacles. Seven. Some of you have work on your mind. You can be in some sort of position of authority. Ever was wanting to come through. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, King, yeah, look at that, King of Pentacles in reverse. You have business on your mind. You are your number one priority. Um, this person that is coming through may also be a new love. Or um, it's almost when you least expect it, there may be an opportunity, a uh, new beginning here for you. Um, because a lot of you, if you are keeping your options open with the Seven of Cups, there may be a cup that's really standing out to you here with the Ace of Cups. So if it doesn't work out with this person on your mind, do know there is something better here uh, coming through with the Ace of Cups. For your outcome, Capricorn, we have Queen of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles. For one, luck is in your favor. Uh, things are moving forward. And if you've been investing in something, um, you know, it's been a while. Knight of Pentacles is not overnight success. But it is saying if you don't cut corners, you put in the work, your effort will pay off. Whether this is relationships, uh, or it's some financial situation. But I see you doing well here. You're coming through as quite stable. You're also coming through as the Queen of Swords upright. Uh, you do have your shield up here. Uh, you're not the most trusting, and this is how this person was viewing you here with the Fool in reverse. And I think it is the right approach to take on. Um, I don't th see you being completely uh, closed off to new experiences, but you are taking on a more cautious approach with the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race is sort of the mindset here. But very favorable period and things are looking good. So keep going. This person's outcome, we have Nine of Cups in reverse, Nine of Swords upright, Three of Swords in reverse. Some of you, this is karma coming through, especially if they were deceptive, they're playing mind games with you here and their intentions. Um, definitely it's coming back to haunt them here there's codependency and this person having a hard time releasing the situation but they're just a codependent person in general perhaps I'm not sure but a lot of sleepless nights here guilt regret or just worry about the future right they have some healing to do in their outcome let's get you some oracle cards here Capricorn some of you, this can be an opposite attract. The issue here I'm getting, for one, their intentions are, it's gross. I don't like, to, I dislike uh, the magician Seven of Swords. It's mind games manipulation. This is someone who's intentionally doing things to get a reaction out of you, Capricorn. The issue I have is you're coming through as someone of integrity, someone who's forthright. You're very honest here moving forward. 
Um, you know where you're headed, you have direction, and you're willing to put in the effort. But it's almost you're coming through as the Empress, the Queen of Swords, right? And you, if we look at the Knight, he's facing this person's energy. But this person's drained. They need to fill their own cup here, Capricorn, before they can offer you anything substantial. Because if you're approaching them in this state, you will be the one healing and giving to them. They don't have anything to offer you here. I'm not saying um, this person is a terrible human being. You know, that is not what I'm here to do. But I am telling you that this person will be the taker here because they have a lot of healing, self-reflection to do, right? Before they can match your energy. Because your outcome is telling me you're someone who's learned lessons, right? Karma is in your favor here, for one. This is positive. This is good karma coming your way. And you're a genuine, nice, kind person, which is why you're offering your pentacle to this person. It's a friendship, but you could also be offering support here, right? Because this person's in a very difficult energy. They're in a low vibration. So you may be willing to wait it out and give them time to heal. Some of you, they're healing from a breakup separation. Three of swords in reverse. But just protect your energy is what I'm saying right you you're looking beautiful your energy's stable you don't want to you know move two steps backward here okay opposites attract someone may enter your life who's very different from you you will complement each other it may start off as friends first we have smooth sailing materialistic love prized possession so you may be attracting someone who's very financially stable um i'm not sure if it's this energy but it can be this per person will be uh, changing, evolving here, moving forward. Um, a lot of, some of you don't, opposites attract will be this new beginning, Ace of Cups. Ooh, unforeseen love. You might meet or know someone who you will grow to love, turning friendship into a relationship. So yeah, this may be an unexpected opportunity. So we'll have to wait and let this play out here. It'll be different for each one of you, right? Power couple, nice. Two people who are equals and fiercely independent from one another, encouraging goodness in the world. See, this reading doesn't seem to be uh, bad, but I don't get why this person's avoiding you. What is this? What are they hiding? You know, there's something shady about them. It's the intentions and then the outcome, which is throwing me off. Their stance was beautiful. You're very jealous as a person, but they avoid you, and yet they stalk you. Some of you, they're, make, they're needing to make an apology. Ooh, okay. Making an apology in the near future. That's telling a message here. Although in their actions, I wasn't really getting much action. Three of Wands, that's more of a waiting and watching. But definitely, they can be. Because there was guilt or regret for some of you. Nine of Swords. Because they're emotionally dependent on you. Making an apology in the near future, they will... We have Resisting the Connection. Worth the Second Chance. new beginning uh there's a few ways we can interpret this some of you we have karmic cycle um you were stuck with this person especially if they're on again off again um but you'll have a decision to make capricorn whether you want a new love a new beginning somewhere else or do you want a new beginning with a past person some of you may choose to resist the connection here and it can be this person's past energy as well, because I'm seeing a lot of avoidance here. Tower in reverse, seven of swords, it's almost ghosting energy. Let's get you a couple from here.
<laughs> Wasn't I saying this person is shady? Yeah, they're shady. And we have high maintenance. I mean, see, I'm not reading this card literally. They're viewing you as the empress, so it can be they're plotting, strategizing. They may feel you're above them in some way. There's insecurities here, Capricorn. Uh, that's for sure. And some of you, a third party, we have a wife here, and then we have running into. There's three people here. And then we have advice. Or it can be that third party is someone interfering. Family, friends, they may be getting advice from other people in regards to you of what their next step should be, right? Especially if they're wanting to come back with making an apology. But they're shady. I don't understand. It's, they're sabotaging this. Eye candy. Is it just physical? What do they want? They watch you. They stalk you. They find you beautiful, the way you carry yourself, you're very graceful, your makeup for some of you, they're just, Venus is coming through, right? Physical appearance. Why is Shady here? <laughs> Let's see if I can dick Capricorn, why is Shady here? I know they play games, but what else are they doing? They're confused and they're a liar, okay? So don't trust everything this person says. They can be very good with their words with the magician. They can really charm just about anyone. So it's pay attention to how they're acting, not what they're saying, Capricorn. We have drained. Yeah, this person is drained. Nine of cups in reverse, which is why I was saying they have to fill their own cup. Capricorn, before they can fill yours. This is not a vibrational alignment. It's not. Here, let me get you this. This is a ghosting deck. I mean, some of you, Seven of Swords, can be someone who's ghosting. There's a lot going on here. Should we take this? We will take them all. Circumstances. There were, sorry about that. There was a series of unfortunate events in my life. I had to disconnect from the world. It wasn't just you. Deception. You caught me in a lie. I was embarrassed. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Um, this person's foolish. They're childish. You know, you can't come to the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Swords, Page of Swords. She has an inbuilt lie detector i love this queen she's actually one of my favorite energies she can smell bs from miles away is what i always say about her so you caught me in a lie so you caught this person in a lie you know they're up to no good your intuition was speaking to you we have distraction i lost track of all my budding relationships so this queen of wands can be another energy here as well traits rather than the ones I project on them. Same goes for not new people. I already know. Acceptance is the delicate art that reminds us everyone is their own unique self and we can't expect them to ever be anything. But man, how do those snowflakes do it? And putting up stronger boundaries? I see you doing that, Queen of Swords. Your sword is raised. It's saying... Um, don't fall in love with someone's potential here, is what I'm getting, right? You know, they have a lot of potential. I see they have a lot of potential, but they're not there yet, right? And it's not fair for you to wait on anyone or put your life on hold until to wait for this person to reach your level. So it's, your outcome is beautiful. I see you going with the flow and really um, keep moving forward this person that they seem to be bad news on their mind what advice get out of bed okay using sleep as an escape from reality is only a temporary fix you're a fighter look at everything you've overcome don't give up now you're a tough we have tough girl or tough guy what advice do you have for capricorn Oh, yeah, look at that. Happy times. You're entering a happier cycle. Wheel of Fortune. 
good karma. You're entering a happier cycle. You did the work and overcame so much. Now it's your turn to receive in a major way. It's time. You've had enough lessons. How beautiful is that? Some of you are just exhausted with people taking advantage of your generosity and your kindness with the Knight of Pentacles. I want one more for you, Capricorn. Mm. Shaky ground. If you doubt yourself, the foundation may be unstable or questionable and likely to break down. It's time to evaluate the relationship. What is this happy times I have? Let's get another deck here. Um, it's also an advice deck, but it usually covers all aspects here. Um, you know, other than love. So let's see. Can you clarify this happy times for Capricorn? What is this about? Why is happy times here for Capricorn? Can be work, finances, I'm not sure. Clarify happy times here for Capricorn. Health, okay, health and healing. We have self-sabotage and change. I was seeing self-sabotage for this person you're dealing with. We have to take care of your body. Take time to simply breathe deeply and relax. Walk in nature, meditate, eat a healthier diet. Small changes make a big difference. Setting some sort of morning routine, right? Waking up early, meditating, eating right, exercising. We have family. silver lining rejection is god's protection literally guardian angel yeah i'd sing focus on your priorities and building a solid foundation and i think you were in your feelings we had eight of pentacles keep working uh keep working hard and you have keep working hard is what i was trying to say we have fam family and friends here as well i don't see you needing any assistance but if you do feel that you're feeling a bit low here um, you definitely can. You have some great people around you, is what the cards are indicating. Silver lining. Every situation offers something positive. Although you may not see it immediately, sometimes not getting what you wish for is a blessing in disguise. In terms of your love life, Capricorn, there is some bad apples here that you'll have to filter through with the Seven of Cups until you get to the one, right? But you are learning here through your experiences, which is beautiful. But yes, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.